Hey, it's day 108. Musab, the teacher at work. Musab bin Umair was a handsome, pleasant person. He loved the Prophet and cared for him very much. And when the Prophet gave him the task of propagating Islam to the people of Medina, he accepted this task with pleasure. He set off as soon as he was appointed to teach the Quran to the Muslims of Medina. He was young, knowledgeable, and very polite. He knew very well how to behave. He had more than enough ability to be a teacher. After a long and arduous journey, he arrived in Medina. The Muslims of Medina welcomed him with great love and joy. They prepared a place for him to stay. Without losing any time, he began teaching them what he knew. He had complete peace of mind. In Medina, it was easy both to practice and propagate his religion. After all, such enemies of religion as Abu Lahab and Abu Jahal did not exist in Medina. So he kept working harder and harder and thanking Allah. One day, he sat in the backyard of one of the houses. He preached the new religion and talked about the Prophet. People listened to him in great curiosity, asking questions and learning what they had not previously known. Without getting tired or stressed, he explained things again and again about his beautiful prophet, the true religion he brought, and his patience, compassion, and love. While they were listening and Musab was explaining everything with a sweet tongue, A long-faced armed man came up. He was raging with madness. Turning to Musab, he said, What is this you are doing? What do you want from this youth? You are misguiding them. If you do not want to lose your life, leave here immediately. Musab was full of patience because he had learned how to be patient from the Prophet. He had to be kind just as the Prophet was. He looked at him, smiling and said, Why don't you sit down? Let us talk. You can listen to us. If you like what we say, you can accept it. And if you don't, then we will not even bother anyone. The man was surprised. He had insulted him. But Musab, instead of getting angry, was behaving gently. He put his sword down slowly and settled there quietly. Musab talked to him about Islam and the Prophet too. The man had never heard anything like what Musab was talking about. He felt his heart being moved. He turned to Musab and said, All right, could you read something from the sacred book? you say he has brought. Musab's voice was beautiful. He said, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. And then he began reading from the verses of the Quran. The man was impressed by the verses Musab recited. He was in awe. He could not help but say, How wonderful that was! How sweet an explanation! What am I supposed to do in order to enter this religion? Musab told him first to wash himself. The man took a bath and cleaned his shoes. Then Musab taught him the declaration of faith, the Shahada. The man who had wanted to kick him out of that garden became a Muslim. There was an expression of happiness on his face. He was embarrassed for what he had done a few moments ago. He stood up and left. He told a friend about what had happened. His friend also came to Musab the same way. He was also impressed by the Quran recitation and became a Muslim. Now, there was only one religion and one prophet for the people of Medina, Islam. And Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam.